Hello, it's Dr. Brian Schutz, and I have something very uh, heavy on my heart to share with you today. Over the past 15 years, I have instructed people as a natural health care practitioner to restore their health and remain in good health for the extent of their lives. I have many people every day come and ask me nutritional advice. What supplements should I take? And what should I take for this or that? But the core of everybody's supplement program should be a good multivitamin, multimineral supplement. And what you should never take, and this is my opinion, but I'm going to share with you some facts that might help you to see why I feel the way I do. In my opinion, you should never ever take synthetic-based supplements or chemical-based supplements. These supplements are made from petroleum or tar and poisons. They contain actually dangerous poisons that can kill you and your family. And I'm going to share with you right now one, this is my opinion, I don't want a lawsuit or anything about this, I'm just sharing the facts of what's on the label. Here, this supplement. It says it's number one doctor recommended. Not by this doctor, okay? Never. Ever. But I'm going to share with you why. First of all, I told you it's made of synthetic vitamins and minerals, meaning chemicals. Second, there are poisons in here. I'm going to read to the from the label the poisons that are in this supplement right here. Okay, number one, we have let's see aluminum. Number six, aluminum lake, an artificial coloring agent, chemical poison. Number two, modified food starch MSG. Again, very unhealthy. Robs the body of B vitamins. So why would you put it in a supplement? Uh, here you go, big one. Polyethylene glycol. Polyethylene glycol. That is a antifreeze derivative that they've put into this supplement. Potassium sorbate. Why? It's a chemical. It doesn't belong in what you put in your supplements. And polyvinyl alcohol. Again, why? What's the point? Well, the point is you can take this and make it very cheaply and you can put it on TV and sell millions of bottles every week to unsuspecting consumers. All right? In my opinion, I don't want those chemicals that I just read to you in my body and certainly not my kids' bodies. I'll tell you what, if you accidentally drop on the floor, your dog won't even eat this stuff because it's not food. Your supplements should come from food. When you take in a food into the body, it actually, the vitamins and minerals break down into components that will latch onto a receptor in the cells and create an enzymatic response in the cell. Well, the synthetic version, these store-bought supplements, they don't have that same chemical reaction with the cell. They won't fit the receptor site. So nothing ever happens from them being in the body, okay? And then with the toxic burden they create, because now the body has to eliminate the waste that's not doing you any good, along with the poisons that are killing your body every day, I say that we shouldn't take that kind of stuff anymore. There are plenty of companies out there that make great organic whole food based supplements that you can feel good about taking into your body and giving your kids because let's face it, with the farming techniques now, and all the fertilizers and artificial this and that they put into our food and radiating our food now, food is devoid of vitamins and minerals to the levels it used to be. So even since the 60s, levels that they test now in food is less. So we need to supplement, but they need to be from organic whole food supplements, hopefully better than the foods you can eat at the store. Okay, make sense? Okay, so what I recommend is you get some of these supplements out of your you know, medicine cabinet, or wherever you keep them, you read the label, and if yours contain polyethylene glycol, polypropylene glycol, um, any of the chemicals I just read, potassium sorbate, um, modified food starch, how about this, hydrogenated palm oil, hydrogenated oil, eh, eh. If it says anything like that, it's my opinion that you should throw it in the trash. Don't say, well, I'll take those until they, until they, uh, I'm out of them, and then I'll get something better. Because you're poisoning yourself with that stuff, okay? So don't do it.
then I recommend that you share it with other people. Tell other people the story that they need to get off of these synthetic vitamins with all the chemicals and all the poisons and start putting real whole food supplements into their bodies. I'll be glad to put, post some uh, good healthy supplements you can take there, some examples. There's lots of different companies, but I'll tell you this, here's a good rule of thumb. If you can buy your supplements where you buy drugs, don't buy them. Don't buy anything where you can buy drugs, okay? Because those supplements are not made to keep you healthy. And people ask me, well, what about, you know, FDA? Aren't they protecting us with our, you know, telling us what's safe and what's not? I tell you, they say Celebrex is safe, that you can use that. It kills people. They say that um, cigarettes, they used to say cigarettes were safe up until not too long ago, even into the 70s, there were doctors, and you can watch the videos on YouTube if you put in doctor recommended cigarettes. They'll say, they'll, they'll show you doctors who are recommending people smoke cigarettes for their health. So, do you trust the FDA? I don't. I trust what God made and what's in the soil to be what I want to put in my body, not a chemical, man-made. And I recommend that you share this information with everybody you know so that they can be healthy and they won't fall victim to thinking they're putting something in their body that's protecting them from illness or from any kind of chronic disease process, because it's not. All right, guys, now we're gonna make sure that these supplements and these poisons aren't taken by anybody. See ya. And that's just where they belong. So this is Dr. Brian Schutz signing off. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.